cook just about everything. Good Lord. Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Cooking with Sandra Faye. Now, today, just like I told you guys last week, I am in Memphis, Tennessee at my sister's house. I call her Religious Red. Why? Because she's religious and she's always getting on me about my potty mouth and my sister's potty mouth named Linda, who's worse than I am. But anyhow, <laughs> we are cooking today. Well, come over here, sweetheart. Come on over here. Blondell. Oh, oh, I want y'all to meet Blondell. She oh. is making. Tell them what you're making for us today. I am making a apple crisp. So I'm going to go through the processes of it. It's very, very easy, and it's very, very tasty. Mm-hmm. All right. I so. can't wait to taste this, y'all. I oh. can't wait. To, she made the peach one, and it was ooh, amazing. Yes. So I can't wait to taste the apple. Okay. Right. Here we go. Tell us what you're doing. I am preparing a apple crisp. And on the top of my apple crisp are pecans. Okay. I found that... Once you break them up, you shake them in a colander, and that gets all the excess shells out. And if you look in the sink, you'll see it at the bottom. You do not want the aftertaste that would be in your um, dessert from the shells. Oh. So that is why I shake them in a colander. Well, I learned something new. What about you, Religious Red? Did you learn something new? That's right, I sure did. I sure did. You what? That's Religious Red, y'all. Say hi. And in the background is my nephew. We call him Woody Woo. <laughs> and over there is my sister. Wacky Wack. Wacky Linda. Look at her. Say something now. <laughs> and you call your own self Wacky. I didn't. Okay. No, her did. Right. Her did? Okay. And her cooking. That's a southern thing, y'all. Yes. People who don't know. Her. Her. <laughs> Not her, but her. Oh. her. <laughs> and her finish with the pecans. It looks so good. Okay, as part of the um, making of this peach crisp, I cut the um, peach, uh, the uh, apple pie. I'm doing apple pie this time, not the peach. Okay. I cut them up into small pieces and try to get all of your juice, all of your liquid out of your cans. Don't get apple pie filling mixed up with apples, just plain apples in a can because you will have the wrong thing. This is actual apple pie filling. Okay. See the apple pie on the can? This is filling. Okay, fill it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take this and I'm going to just go through and cut this up. So you're cutting small? Yes. Because it's not an apple cobbler, this is an apple crisp. It's a little bit different. Once I finish this, I will grease my pan with uh-huh. butter. And then. I'm going to season this with the nutmeg, nut, 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 nutmeg, the cinnamon, uh-huh. uh, vanilla flavor, and a little bit of almond flavor, and a little salt. Now, if they wanted to have this chunky, could they just leave it chunky? They, they could. Like Okay. But you do need to cut it up some because you have to spread this out in your pan. Okay. So if you don't cut it up, then you will probably need to buy three cans okay. instead of two. That's chunky fruit, y'all. <laughs> if you don't like chunky men, I'm just playing. I don't. Oh, you don't? I don't. You don't like chunky men? I don't like chunky men. So don't be putting that down in the comment section. <laughs> they breathe too hot. Not all of them. Some of them are fit. What did you say, Rick? She's single, y'all. She's single. 
Who oh, is single? She's a minister. Oh, oh, oh. Please. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Good God. She's, <laughs> she's, she's religious, y'all. Good woman, okay? How many of y'all can say you got a good woman? <laughs> Here's the consistency that you need to have, guys. Look at this. Look at it. You don't see any chunks in that. You don't see any. Good job. All right. Let's go to the next step. Now tell me, do you measure anything? I am a dump cook. I do not measure, but if you choose to measure, you can. But you will still need to taste it to get the taste that you're looking for, the desired taste that you're looking for. So I am going to put vanilla flavor in, and this is real vanilla flavor, not imitation. Use pure only, guys, pure, not that imitation stuff. Because... Imitation is not good for you, so I don't use it. Okay. This is almond. And it's pure put, almond extract? Yes, pure almond extract. And I only put a little bit of that in. Because it can take over. It can take over. Like I said before in the other video. Y'all like to take over, man. This is nutmeg, which I pronounced wrong Ground before. nutmeg. Ground nutmeg. I am a dump cook, as I said, so just dump just cook, y'all. Put dump. some in. Okay. Okay. That smells great. A little salt. Now, why the salt? The salt brings the flavors together. Okay. That's what salt does. But can it be omitted? Some people who say, I don't eat salt. Well, yes. There's going to be some down in there, I'm telling you, in it the comment section. <laughs> can be omitted. Okay. And you can use a salt substitute. Okay. This is cinnamon. Probably won't taste as good, but you know, hey. Yeah. That'll be on you. I then. use quite a bit of cinnamon. Mm. Okay. Okay. And I just stir it. So are we putting real sugar in here? Um, oh, we don't have to because you, the apple crisp is sweet. You don't have to, but occasionally I do put a little sugar in it and okay. I probably will put a little bit in this because one can was no sugar and the other one was with sugar so I would probably so that put, was a mistake yes so right. I would probably nobody's perfect y'all we make mistakes in cooking of sugar how many y'all have burned up something I know I have <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> right so okay just stir it real good Okay. And next, I'm going to grease my pan with butter. This pan here. And what size pan is this? A 9 by 11, I believe. Uh, is it 9 by 11 or 13? Uh, she usually we'll says you. it under the bottom, guys. Usually. But it's not there. But it's not there. But Whose you, pan is this? Religious rad. You don't have a pan that says what it is. She's over there cooking, y'all. We need to know the size of this pan, but hey. I'm, I think it's a 9 by 13. That's what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Okay, got that done. We're going to take a little break, and I'm going to grease this pan with butter. All right. All right. I sometimes go back and put, um, after I taste it, I will go back and maybe put a little bit more cinnamon and vanilla flavor. That's almond. But vanilla flavor in it. Once I taste it, if I don't have the desired taste that I'm looking for, I will add a little bit more of these too. Oh, okay. Okay. That's why you should taste test. So I'm getting ready Every to time you're cooking. You want to taste it to be sure it's to your liking. Hmm, it's pretty good. But I am going to put a little bit more nutmeg in it and a little bit more cinnamon and a dash of salt and it's okay to stir it up in the pan it just makes it better oh is it mm -hmm. you can stir it in the pan yes all right here is the topping for the apple crisp it is a um, white cake mix um, in a box you can use Betty Crocker, you can use Baker's Choice, you can use any, as long as it's white cake mix. And I take a fork and I kind of break it up so that it won't be chunky when I get ready to put it on top of the um, 
the fruit uh, mix. This is about a cup right here, but I may not use the whole thing. Okay, so now I'm going to take it and I'm going to spread it. I'm a lefty, so I'm going to switch hands. Sprinkle it on there. I'm going to sprinkle it on the top. Yep, there's some chunks in there. So I gotta stop and break this up. You're breaking up the chunks. Yeah, we don't want no chunks in there. People eating chunks. <laughs> Remember, guys, to break up your chunks. Now some people like it thin. Uh -huh. Some people like it a little thicker. thick. So if you like it thick, you can just basically add some more from the pack. Right. But you like yours I thin? Like, no, I like it a little thicker. A little thicker. So you're going to add more? I'm going to add more. Okay, our next step is to chip butter over the entire peach crisp. Okay, so you're going to fill that whole thing up. The whole thing. So this is going to take about four sticks of butter? Mm, shouldn't. should take only one. One stick? It's about a stick and a half, about a I'll stick say. and a half of butter. Yeah. Real butter. Yes. Real butter. Real butter. How do you keep saying that? Real butter, guys. Real <laughs> butter. I'm coming in here with no margarine. I don't care if it is a name brand. No margarine. Not good for you at all. Real butter. Real butter. Tell them again. Real butter. All right. No margarine. Not good for the body. So if you're going to eat a dessert, try to use real organic butter. if possible, but real butter. And real pure cane sugar like yes. Domino's. And I think Domino's has a organic sugar that you can buy as well. Mm. Pure cane sugar and it's brown premium pure cane sugar this is brown sugar you so said non-gmo non-gmo verified all right if you're going to eat um sweets try to get real products and don't eat a whole lot of it but just enjoy a little bit and live life does this come in dark dark brown sugar yes it does Again. Try to be as healthy as possible. Eat a little bit of dessert. You don't have to eat the whole pan. Even Definitely. though it is so good, we still have to discipline ourselves mm -hmm. in what we eat and how much we eat. So, so true. I am on a... That's a lot of butter, girl. That's a lot uh, of butter. But you won't be eating all of that by yourself. That's a lot of butter. But it's going to be good. I can tell you that. Mm. The last thing that I'm going to do is the pecans. Now tell me, I'm looking at your pecans, the texture, I mean you got them like chunky. So if someone wants them finer, they could Break them chop up. it up finer. Mm -hmm. And okay. don't forget to shake it in the colander to get all of the, um, the, the shells, shells out. Or you'll have a bitter taste. Okay, we Just don't want no bitter taste. Y'all notice she's, she got on gloves because of the butter. She didn't want to have butter fingers. Get it? Butter finger. <laughs> I like butter finger. Mm -hmm. Good already, girl. There it goes. Ooh. Okay, let's get rid. That's it? Yes. That's I, it? That's, I mean, this you didn't is have it. to toast the pecans or nothing? It's going to toast in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven oven for about 25 to 35 minutes. I check it periodically to see if the uh, cake mix has browned. Okay. Once that cake mix browns because of the, the uh, butter, uh -huh. the pecans will brown a little bit and you take it out and you let it set for about 15 minutes okay. and then you're able to go in and so enjoy. So you're supposed to eat this warm, yes. cool or Warm. Okay, warm. Warm. What temperature should it be on? I put it on 350. 350 degrees, guys. Remember this. Alright, let's put this sucker in the oven. Okay. So 
here we go. We're going to bake this on 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. That's the one on the bottom. the finished product okay this is the final um, final product this is the apple crisp as you can see um, you let it sit for about 15 minutes for it to congeal and then you can put whipped cream on top of it if you like when you put it in your in your um, your dish uh -huh. and um, and you will enjoy yourself very 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 much Say it again one more time for the people who don't listen well. Okay. Let it set for about 15 minutes to congeal. And then you can use ice cream or whipped cream um, to put on top of it as you plate it. And uh, it's a very delicious dessert. All right. Have we're a blessed, blessed to, day. All right. We're getting ready to have some of this. So I'm going to taste test it for you guys. All right. Okay. I'm getting ready to plate this wonderful dessert apple crisp and we're going to see what it tastes like Ooh, yummy then we're going to Ooh. top it with some ice is cream. this all i get just no little... you can get much more oh we got vanilla bean ice cream guys vanilla bean look at that I'm going to taste test this for you guys. Hold on a second. Let me get a spoon. It's time to taste test this bad boy. All right, here we go. Ooh-wee, I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't got no teeth in my mouth, but these pecans, I'm going to have to swallow them some type of way. Hold on. diabetic coma with this <laughs> it is wonderful trust me y'all gonna love it and i want you to go down in the comment section and tell me if you made this apple crisp that's what it's called right and this is blondell she's the one made it religious red is over there barbecuing she's supposed to make something but but this is great, guys. Trust me, you really got to try it, okay? Like I said, let me know. And thank y'all for stopping by. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And come back next Wednesday for another exciting video with Cooking with Sandra Faye. Until next time, people. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. I got to eat this up.